Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 26. Today, today we're going to cover some of the most exciting material in all of the 66 Day Challenge, and that is you actually getting paid. We're going to get into opportunities, and we are going to accept one of the offers that we submitted yesterday, and then we're going to walk through the process of submitting a commission request such that our MCA can create a DA for us and we can take that and get paid. So let's go into the opportunities applet. If you'll remember, that's our handshake icon here on the left-hand side. We're gonna open up opportunities. And from there, we're gonna dive into that fake opportunity that we have been working with, with good old Marge and Homer Simpson, our fictional characters. So the offers and commissions tab inside this opportunity, again, the fourth one over. Excuse me, you can see the two offers that we put in yesterday. And we have talked to Margin Homer, we've discussed the offers, they have decided that they want to move forward with the all cash offer. So in that case, we're going to come down to this second one. This was the all cash offer we discussed yesterday from Marty McFly. We're going to choose to accept that offer. When we do, you're going to see that the order of the offers has now changed. So Garfield's finest offer, it's still here, right? It didn't go anywhere. And yet the one that we're currently working is the all cash offer from Marty McFly. And you can see our commission status is labeled as open. How do we start working our commission status towards getting paid? We're gonna click on this big manage commission button. When we do, we get up a new page that's opened up where we can begin to take a look at all of the information that has been submitted and verify that it's accurate. The first is our general information box where we can see the sales price, the originally agreed upon commission rate between the, in this case, seller and listing agent, the total commission amount, which is basically the, just this math, total units, what the contract date is and what the close date is. Now, oftentimes I see that this contract date does not pull over just as a heads up. So if any of this information is incorrect or missing, we would just click on edit general information, the big pencil icon, and we can come in and make changes. For example, you may have had a price de <coughs> excuse me, a price decrease during the, um, the time that you had the property listed, in which case we would wanna come in and change that sales price. Once we've got all of this information entered and accurate, we can go ahead and click on save changes. And then we're gonna come down to the next section, which is the payment section. And we're gonna look through all of these numbers. Let's verify that everything here is correct. It's one unit. Agent gross commission, 11,250. That just got pulled down from our sales price times commission rate. Now the net pay to agent, we're gonna take a look at how that number was derived. How did we go from 11,250 to $7,200? Well, as you scroll down, you're going to see your payment breakdown. So, Royalty paid to KWRI is paid at 6% of the gross commission. And right now I am not capped with my market center on royalty. So that's gonna be taken out. So that's 6% of the total amount. You can see that equals $675. Next up in my market center, the company dollar split is 30%. I am not capped on company dollar. You can see this is actually my first transaction. So we're going to have that also removed. 33.75 is 30% of the 11.250, which equals out to $7,200. Now you can see that I don't have any dollar figures in my additional deductions. Oftentimes your market center may have E&O already hard coded inside of this section. So just as a heads up, if you see that number, that's set by your market center. And then bold scholarship, KW Cares, KW Kids Cans, those are optional deductions that you can choose to make. Do note that KW Cares and KW Kids Cans, those are 5013C organizations. So check with your tax preparer to see if those are an expense that you might be able to write off. I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit agent payment. I want to give to all three, so I'm gonna put in $100 to the Bold Scholarship, $100 to KW Cares, and $100 to KW Kids Can. I can now click on save changes and based upon those deductions on the right hand side we get a breakdown of everything that's happening total commission paid to the office is my royalty plus my company dollar plus my bold deduction plus my two nonprofits to kw cares and kw kids can ultimately i'm going to end up getting paid six thousand nine hundred dollars and this is my name here 
demo MC82, $6,900 total would be what I would make off of this transaction. I can now click on submit and this would show up in my Market Center Administrator's Command MC or Command for Market Center account. They would review that and then either approve or deny my request, at which point if it was approved, the DA process would begin. So many Market Centers upload the DAs to the opportunity. Some will actually email the DA. Sometimes it's just a paper DA in your inbox. Every Market Center is different. You ask your MCA how DAs are delivered in your Market Center. That's a simple and straightforward commission. Just so you know, if you click on edit agent payment, there are four other options to change these dollar amounts. And those would be based upon either referrals being paid, bonuses, deductions, or concessions. You would just choose to click on add item and choose any one of those five referrals or split between inside and outside from this dropdown. The bonus, you're gonna have a question as to whether that's split with the market center. You're gonna to wanna to talk to your MCA about that. The same holds true for concessions as well as questions about, is it on the closing statement, off the top, is the market center paying? With regards to, oh, I apologize, I closed that out. With regards to deductions, you are going to need to make sure that you get their tax ID type and the actual tax ID number in addition to their address, phone, and email. Finally, with referrals, you're going to see that there are two types of referrals, inside referral and outside referral. That is based upon whether the agent works at your market center or works somewhere else. So whether that's a KW agent or a non-KW agent, outside referral is used for any agent outside of your particular brokerage or office. You are going to need all of their tax information for their brokerage as well. Typically, there's a tax form that you can request from the other brokerage to get all of that information entered. The last thing to be aware of for those that are on a team, you do have the ability to add another agent to this DA. So if it's a rainmaker and a buyer's agent, for example, you would come in and search for the agent's name. You would determine whether the units get split or just the commission. And then you can come in and fill out the deductions for that rainmaker or buyer's agent, whoever wasn't already included. And then obviously you've got the same options down here for extra payment. So we'll close out of that since we didn't make any changes there. Ultimately, once I click on submit, and I can't do this because the demo MC is actually not a real person, but once I click on submit, then we would see the status inside of the offer and commissions tab change to submitted. And then once my MCA received that, reviewed it and approved it, the status would change to accepted. All of those are notifications that will happen inside your notifications bell. So when your MCA does accept, your commission request, you will get a notification both in Command Desktop and on your Command Mobile app. And at that point, you just head off to the title company or however it works in your state and cash in on all that hard work that you did for that family and yourself and move on to the next big real estate transaction. So that's it for today, guys. Day 26, how to get paid utilizing an offer acceptance and the commission tab. We may be diving into a new opportunity tomorrow, a new applet. It's not opportunities, it's campaigns. Stay tuned for that. As always, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll look forward to speaking with you real soon.